Why do anything if nothing matters? So in life, we don't really have a purpose. We don't really have a use. We don't have a cause. We don't have um, any kind of external factors that are kind of enforcing us to do something. You know, we don't have something that we have to do. And we can have all these kind of external kind of pursuits, you know, make money, get a good job, get a degree, these sorts of things. But with these sorts of things, like having a goal with these sorts of things, having any sort of goal is like a contract with desire and to want is to suffer. And that's because you kind of has the, have this contract where you're saying, I'm not going to be happy until I reach this sort of thing and I want to achieve this sort of thing. But even when you get that thing, you probably won't be as happy as you expect you are because you didn't enjoy the journey and you were just putting off your happiness towards the future. And with these videos, I was just kind of wondering, is this actually worth it? Am I providing any value? Because I've got obsessed and I've gone down the rabbit hole of these videos and just trying to find an answer and it's just made me even more dissatisfied trying to look further and further in, trying to find or what's going to be the answer, what's, what is purpose, and then getting caught up on purpose and passion and trying to find out what it is and where it is. And then that just created even more anxiety because I wouldn't let myself pick something. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to pick anything because with all that stress and all that pressure that was on me, I couldn't just pick something and stick with it. And then... You know, it's like, why, why try, why do anything if nothing really matters because we're going to die in the end. Nothing really matters. Nothing that we do because we're going to die, we don't really own anything. You know, we may have money, we may have things for a while, but then they pass away and we can't really hold on to any of these things. And <laughs> I guess all we can do is try our best and just... I mean, you could give up if you don't want it, if you really don't want to be alive, but... Like, we, we're alive, we didn't really get to choose to be alive, but we're here anyway, so we may as well just accept that, accept this kind of reality, and just try and do what we enjoy, like, with these videos. Even though I'm kind of questioning, what am I doing? Is this actually worth it? Am I just creating more mess on the internet world? I enjoy making these videos because I just get into a flow state. I don't have any thoughts in my mind, I'm just talking. And it's really weird, and I enjoy getting out my ideas and trying to pull together insights and ideas that I've had from what I'm experiencing and what I'm reading and try and putting it into a video. And then when it comes to this where I'm just recording, I don't have any thoughts and it's just, at this point I'm just doing it because I enjoy it. And these things are kind of different for everyone and Everyone has their own weaknesses, everyone has their own strengths, their own tendencies, their own kind of wants and needs. And for me, self-improvement wasn't really an answer. It's not really an answer for me because I get too caught up on trying to find these sorts of things. And I do still have goals. I do still have want to strive. I do still want to live a better life. And that's what I'm trying to do, live my best life now, try and do the best that I can now set myself up for a better future, but don't get so caught up on that future and don't wait for that future to be happy now or to enjoy what I'm doing now and to just kind of appreciate the things that I have now because you know you never know when you're going to lose them, you never know what's going to happen in your life, you never know, yeah, you, know, you just never know. And I guess just this nihilistic point point of view of why does anything matter, why try, why do anything. It's kind of selfish I think as well because it's all about you and I've realised that I've been very narcissistic, very selfish, very just worried about what I'm going to do, what I'm going to provide, what I'm going to get for myself, that sort of thing. I didn't really worry or think about what can I actually provide, what can I do for other people and that's what I'm trying to figure out now is like these videos I'm trying to be more aware of what I want what I need what my past self needed and trying to get that out to other people but also realize that oh many people probably won't want to watch this many people won't see this but if there's just a few people that can kind of connect with it then that's 
that's great because that's going to mean a lot more than getting more likes, getting more subscribers, subscribers, getting more views, even though that's something that my ego kind of wants. And I guess I've also just been kind of in turmoil because I'm not really liking the job that I've been doing because I've been working at a cafe for so long and it just doesn't really align with my values. Like I don't really like drinking coffee. I don't really like the food that they serve at that sort of place. I don't really think it's valuable to people. But I do it anyway and it kind of drains part of my will. It kind of drains part of me because I'm not living with my values. I'm not being authentic and I'm kind of playing a part and my mind needs a bit more stimulation, needs a bit more depth to it, it needs to feel like it's actually, if I want to give value to other people, I want it to be authentic value, you know, like in the back of my head, whether it's conscious or not, I just have this idea that, oh, I'm not really giving much to these people, you know, like I may be able to give them the best coffee that I can make. I may be able to give them something nice, like there might be things that they want there that they're trying to get from this and they're just used to having coffee but is it actually providing much value to their life like is it adding much or is it just kind of like a habit that they've had and they've implemented and it's just kind of a necessity to get through life that's like a whole other thing though so why do anything if nothing matters why not try? Why not do something? Why not try something new? Why not? Why not anything? You know why? Why not try? That's what I. That's what I say. That's what I'm trying to tell myself when I try and get nihilistic because I've. That's happened to me a lot where I've felt down and just got caught up in my own emotions and my turmoil in it rather than trying to realize that I have control over some things and holding on to that bit of control but then realizing like in the whole scheme of things like I don't have a whole lot of control and just trying to get the control that I can have you know with my actions what I can do and what's going to be a little bit better for my future self what's going to benefit me in the future like I've talked about in the past anyway this kind of video just turned into a bit of a prattle a bit of a a weird rant and a weird talk that just kind of went on about things and it didn't have much of a flow to it but I hope I got the idea across. Thank you for watching if you did and I'll see you in the next video.